going to a live Google webinar and Q&A on uh, the Google Apps Marketplace, our new education category, and how you can use these tools to help your students learn more effectively in the cloud with some of these uh, unique learning tools. Well, to give you an overview of what we're going to be talking about, I'm with uh, an overview of Google Apps and the Google Apps Marketplace and the offerings that are, are available through uh, our new category. And so on, and the majority of the time will be covered by our uh, Grocket, uh, Raybop, and Dreambox to give you an overview of the apps, how they work, how they work with Google Apps, and how you can use them for your school. This webinar will be recorded so you can visit it and listen to it in the future. And uh, it also has a lot of Q&A at the end, so please submit your questions through the Q&A box at the bottom. It's the question mark box. I want to get to all of those. We'll talk about Google Apps. Google Education are the best tools for education in our opinion. They're Google's message and collaboration suite in the cloud. So they're signed by our uh, Gmail product, which is our email product that is also with Google Talk and Google Groups, which combine make our messaging offering. Uh, you inbox and different features to stay in contact with all of your students, uh, your faculty, and your students with each other. Collaboration tools, such as Google Calendar and Docs, tools for collaboration on meetings, as well as deadlines and uh, document editing. We have Google Sites and Video, which are similar to SharePoint or, or uh, YouTube, but it's internal. And then we have other uh, more differentiated services like Postini and the Google Apps Marketplace. We have all of these tools, but we also give access to uh, inner marketplace apps <coughs> uh, with Google Apps to help enhance your classroom. So Apps Marketplace is, has been a centralized storefront for Google Apps users to find and deploy hundreds of web-based apps for the institution. Additionally, we've been business-focused with 250 apps that are targeted at uh, small businesses or enterprises, and it's seen growth with over 4 million users. Seeing uh, the recent past, though, is a strong demand from our over two, 10 million users of Google Apps for Education for the apps. So they've taken some of these generic apps such as Menu Moon, a project management app, <coughs> or Slocket, a presentation software, and applied them in the classroom. We have a clear end for, for Google Apps for Education to extend into other solutions such as learning management systems and uh, learning tools. We also saw significant interest from education specific vendors uh, that wanted more distribution uh, and wanted to reach these students. So basically what we had was Google Apps cost one thing more. So they had their slice of the pie and everything they could do with Google Apps, but the more that they could do that they wanted that was kind of separate. So we brought these together with the Google Apps Marketplace education category. Now we have a dedicated category in the Google Apps Marketplace that allows schools and universities to discover, purchase, and deploy any web-based applications for their entire domain. No software, no downloads, no update and patching. You deploy these applications in such a way that all of your users can use them almost immediately. we we'll add it now, but we have over 20 education apps from uh, over 18 vendors. These are across every need you could have in the education space, including learning management systems, grade books, which you see on the left hand side of this slide, as you kind of your student tools like Aviary and eBib, and even platforms, which is what we're going to be focusing on today, uh, just BrainPop, Dreambox, and Rocket. These technologies now have uh, a different way to to explore. They can go to marketplace and browse, read reviews, uh, read descriptions, and understand which of these applications makes the most sense for their domain. 
very different than the previous installation model where a salesperson would come, um, sell you some technology, sell you tons of CDs that you would install and have to maintain, set up different user accounts, etc. What it looks like is number one, you have central management. So your app goes right next to your email, your calendar, your docs. You can disable, enable, and control data uh, permissions for each of these apps, giving you ultimate system, uh, systemized control for your domain. Additional access through the universal navigation bar. Just like this mail and calendar up there, and go from Google Mail to your Google Calendar, it's as easy as one click, and you don't have to sign in again. Your app now also does. Go from Gmail over to BrainPop. Uh, once it's installed, you just click the link, click the link, and you're in. But what's important is the single sign-on feature. It's almost no when you see it in action. Uh, you click the link, and without effort, you're already inside of the application, logged in, and ready to uh, execute. This saves time and saves the hassle of remembering different usernames and passwords. Uh, and for applications, we'll talk more about this integration. And the data is very secure through open protocols such as OpenID and OAuth. After other integrations that also exist, such as Google Document Sync, uh, Calendar Sync, contextual gadgets within your inbox, and much, much more. We have to further expand. You'll hear from three of our vendors that have already launched with us. However, there are already many that have committed and come and want to join the marketplace, including these three, the company Blackboard and Newton, that are offering, that will offer SaaS apps that work Google apps in the very near, near future. So now, uh, to actually dive in a little bit more into these categories, I'm uh, sorry, these applications, and uh, then speak uh, in more detail. So we'll just actually jump over to, to Allison, who is the director over at BrainPop Educators, and she will speak to the capabilities of BrainPop a little bit more. So I'll go over to, to you, Allison, and uh, unmute you. Okay, thanks. I'm Allison from BrainPop. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm not sure how familiar people are with BrainPop, so I'll just give sort of a quick overview. Um, what we offer is online educational content. We've got hundreds and hundreds of animated videos with interactive features to go along with them. Across curricular, all of them are aligned to state standards. Um, <clears throat> really, really excited to be able to offer BrainPop through the Google Apps Marketplace. Okay. Okay, one can hear okay. <laughs> um, so we are all about making teachers' lives easier. And I just want to walk through how this works. Um wonder acting brain pops through the Google Apps marketplace. Um, and I'm sure we can share the direct links to all of these, but um, once you select up through the marketplace. All you need to do is click on Add It Now. And like I said, it will be added to your apps under the More button. I can do a, a close-up of that. Um, reading what Harrison said, and um, some major benefits of this are that it's single sign-on. So any school or district that has a Google, Google domain um, Brain pop, you're accessing it through Google. You don't need to sign on to your account through Brain Pop again. Another cool thing is that we offer a grade book that's through Google Docs. So for students take the quiz, all of our topics come with a multiple choice quiz. Um, students can select the option to email their grades to their teacher and automatically entered into a Google database. That looks like in a second. I want to mention, and I'll give you the link uh, at the end, but we're, we're offering as a special promotion 
access to BrainPop through Google Apps. So again, if you're already a Google Apps user and you have a Google domain name, um, you can find BrainPop, add it to your apps, and you'll have free access to all of our BrainPop content through March 11th. Again, this is highlighting the single sign-on feature. And through, see my mouse moving here, but coming through Google, you see under priority on the left side, it says for more. So you would click on more and find the app. I mentioned the um, spreadsheets. So there's a couple different types of quizzes that students can take. A shot of what it looks like. Uh, our graded quiz means the kids do all 10 questions and they get a score. And at the end, they have that option to send their score to their teacher through Google Spreadsheets. It means they're taking um, the quiz questions one at a time and they won't progress to the next question until they get it right. And of course, there's the option to print. See what that option will look like after a student has done all 10 questions. They can send to teacher's Google spreadsheet. And your teacher's email address. Send along. Uh, students also have the option to review the missed questions or other content. Okay, here's what the spreadsheet looks like. Here in a folder under your Google Docs called BrainPop Quizzes. Sort the results by students' first names or last names, but also their Google Apps ID. Three columns that say score one, two, and three. So one, obviously, that's the first score that they received. So two is the second time they took the quiz. That's their, their results. And then score three will be the most recent score after the second time they took it. Scores are out of 100 questions for every topic. Along the bottom side, you can see that there's a summary button. That's how you can consolidate uh, all of your information. And to the right of that, you can see uh, chocolate, Mars, honeybees, weather. Those are different brain pop topics. So each one of those will appear as a separate tab, a separate worksheet. There's a question just coming in. Question, if you already have a subscription to brain pop, can integrate immediately. Uh, as long as you have uh, access to Google Apps, then yes. Uh, if you're interested in more information, um, Harrison, it looks like this is the older. I'm going to, um, once I finish talking, I'll give you the direct link in the chat box. And um, again, I just want to remind everybody that we've got the promotion going on March 11th. So if you're coming to us through Google Apps, if you already have that Google domain, um, search for BrainPop in the Google Marketplace, and you'll see that button to add it, and you will be set. Uh, there's an email address right here. If you have questions or feedback, we're always interested to hear how it's going. Um, at support at BrainPop.com, and I will give you the direct link to the BrainPop in the Google Marketplace in just a moment. Thanks so much, everyone. If you're interested in learning more about BrainPop, just sort of the basics of BrainPop, I'm happy to share that offline. So I'll give my information as well. Thanks. Back to you. So I will jump over to, to Dreambox to get a little bit from uh, Sue Cummings, and she will uh, get us a little more. So I'm going to take you off mute, Sue. And Sue, are you there? You're here, and I've unmuted myself. Cool. So, so enjoy the presentation. And then just Great. so you guys know, uh, keep some questions in the Q&A. We'll have this recorded for you guys uh, at a later date to use. Very good. Thanks, Harrison. I'm 
really excited to be here. Glad to chat with all of you. I'm going to talk a little bit about how Dreambox customers benefit from using Google Apps in just a couple of important ways. But first, I wanted to put into context by telling you a little bit about our program. Dreambox Learning K3 Math is a, a adaptive learning environment that provides highly individualized instruction for K-3 to students. And this helps all students achieve better and faster math proficiency. And because Dreambox is online, we can actually capture every mouse click, which enables very fine-grained adaptations that are based not just on a student's right or wrong answers, but actually on the student's strategy. So it's very powerful. <clears throat> and it's both instruction and assessment, which allows us to create individualized learning paths dynamically for each student. Dreambox is also a robust standards-based math curriculum. It's aligned to the Common Core State Standards and their uh, major standards, you know, on which um, state standards are based. And um, kids really do love it because they experience Dreambox as a game. It actually teaches in the way that students um, to really love to engage and, and learn. Dreambox app in the Google Apps for Education Marketplace is Dreambox Learning Connect. And the app securely integrates with Dreambox Learning K3 Math and provides you know, easy one-click school sign-on access to reporting dashboards for teachers and for school administrators. And that allows them to monitor student progress right from the familiar uh, Google dashboard. This gives, <clears throat> excuse me, this gives teachers and principals access in real time to data on comprehension and progress for students working within the math curriculum. Teachers use this data every day in the classroom to get insight into uh, how the whole class is progressing, as well as detailed reports on individual students, both in terms of academic progress, on the um, very specific math concepts that students are learning, and reports also show um, time on task, and they help principals and administrators judge the effectiveness of the Dreambox program. And then teachers can share these reports with administrators. They can even share them with parents and can roll them up into their other school and district reports. So this seamless integration of classroom reports via Dreambox Learning Connect helps make uh, teachers and others more productive by helping them quickly and easily access the reporting that they need every day. So Dreambox has been proven effective at helping many students achieve math proficiency. There are now more than 170,000 students using Dreambox Learning. And several independent efficacy studies, Dreambox has been shown to increase math achievement test scores by 19% after two weeks. And it was shown to improve proficiency in the curriculum units that students worked on by 50% over two months. One customer who asked Dreambox to develop the Google app is Rocketship Education, which is a leading charter school network at the elementary level. Rocketship is pioneering the hybrid school model, so they're blending students working on computers for part of every day with traditional teacher-led uh, instruction. So for Rocketship, online learning is tightly integrated into their instructional model. So the productivity gains that they can achieve are really essential to them. And they've kind of, you know, proving the value of the um, of the Google app in doing that. Rocketship has been very successful with this model. In 2010, uh, Rocketship schools were ranked in the top 15 among all California schools with low income populations of at least 70%. So Dreambox Learning is an integral part of Rocket Ship Education's math curriculum in their learning labs. And as you can see from the quote here by John Danner, he's uh, Rocket Ship's founder and CEO, Dreambox has proven effective across their broad spectrum of students. And he went on to say, quote, because Dreambox uses many on-screen visual cues and no text prompts, students have difficulty with oral instructions can still learn from the activity. So students with language issues who struggle in the classroom really do benefit from, from Dreambox. Um, I also wanted to share a comment from Rocket Ship's manager of individualized learning. Her name is Kate Coxon, and she said, quote, always looking for ways to enhance the quality of online learning for our students while facilitating educator access to online curricula and learning content. The Dreambox Learning Connect app 
on Google really supports both of their objectives. So I'd like to wrap up by just sharing a couple of quotes from other educators, um, from a district math administrator who's so confident that Dreambox was improving proficiency for his district students that he bought it for his own son, and from a KIPP teacher who saw her students get so engaged in learning math that they actually thought it was a reward rather than an assignment. Uh, KIPP, as you may know, is the national network of free public college prep schools. And then finally, from a teacher who sees how Dreambox benefits all students, from those struggling to those who are highly capable in improving their progress in math. So, uh, thank you for inviting me. I should have included um, here that you, you can al always learn more about Dreambox at www.dreambox.com. I'll send a little note via chat on how to can uh, contact me as well. So, that's an and we'll, we'll jump over to Grocket, the learning platform. Uh, actually, it looks like they dropped off. So uh, we will take a second. Um, so I'll, I'll jump over there and run through his slides a little bit until he comes back. I'm having some tech, technical difficulties with uh, that side uh, with Rocket. But to give you a review, Grocket is a, a social learning platform, and uh, you can find the marketplace as well. Uh, so, uh, to access the marketplace, you would go to google.com/marketplace. Uh, you and you can find all of these marketplace apps in there. So, actually, that I think uh, we can answer some overarching questions that some people might have. So, feel free to to ask them in chat. But for now, uh, maybe until Rusty comes, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more high level about uh, the different applications. And uh, Google Apps, unmute Allison to One of the questions I'm sure a lot of people have uh, and has been asked in that is, is, is if you're already a Dreambox or a BrainPop uh, subscriber, um, what happens and what should you do with your Google Apps account? So I understood you I'll, I'll give both of you a chance to answer that, but Allison, do you want to start? Sure. Um, <clears throat> so just answering a question on, on the um, Q&A as well. Can you just repeat the question? Yeah, if they're already a BrainPop user subscriber, uh, then what should they do now that they have a Google Apps account um, and they have the integration? What steps would you take? Uh, okay, so... Um, there's no extra cost in relation to BrainPop. Um, that was also a question by the same person. Um, we integrate immediately. All it would take is getting your Google app domain and BrainPop username. Um, and I will enter our information into the chat box for that. Hopefully there's questions. And do you have any comments? Um, even a little bit simpler than that. I mean, we uh, it, when you find us in um, the Google Apps Marketplace, you basically can just open it up, and, and by using the single sign-on functionality, you will be logged into your um, your teacher dashboard, and you can just simply start using it from there, and all of the functionality that's there. And then, so, uh, you know, my uh, what I have to assume that the quizzes in BrainPop are based upon uh, information presented in BrainPop tutorials. Actually, I, that's whose question I was answering. Um, yeah, we didn't really have time to go into BrainPop uh, in much depth, but if people are interested in exploring BrainPop, um, you can sign up for a, a free trial. I just gave the link for that. Um, but our, our Assessment tools, the quizzes, the interactive features, all of them are designed to reinforce the content within our videos. Great. And to jump back to the other question, uh, if you already have a subscription with any of Google Apps Marketplace apps and you're interested in adding that to your Google Apps domain, you just have to contact your IT administrator and get them to, to 
to put. Uh, you won't have to pay again if you already have a subscription. You would just be linking accounts together. So something that we get a lot is uh, is whether you as a teacher, you as a, a faculty member or student can try out these applications if your admin isn't uh, need to, to make the switch or uh, isn't moving very quickly and needs more data points. So a couple of the things you can do uh, are a lot of these apps have trials for individuals that you can look at, and, and I can let uh, Sue and Allison talk to them. But another thing you can do is to set up your own Google Apps account. So go on to google.com slash a, and if you're doing it for an education, you can do google.com slash a slash edu, and I'll put the links in at the end. And when you do that, you can uh, have uh, own domain to install apps onto. So you can go and install Brewhop or Dreambox onto your own domain. You can have up to 50 users. So you can give all of your students domain name uh, access to that domain name and email accounts to try out the, the app. So that's one way that you can get around that. But Allison and Sue, uh, how do you manage the individual uh, level of, of installs or usage of your application? Allison, you go first. <clears throat> sure. The the number of installs yeah. if Google. An if an individual wants to use your app, what should they do? Apps. Um, gosh, I'm not there. sure the answer to that. <laughs> Find out and get back to to that. Um, I'm gonna put my email address in here. But still, apps. I'm not sure. I know. To give people reports outside of Google Apps, or there is a way that we can do that. I'm just not exactly sure how I would describe it. I can, this is Sue. I can jump in and just um, uh, share a little bit on that as well. So um, we try to make it pretty easy for people to try Dreambox and just see it in action. So um, if you go to www.dreambox.com, uh, you can even sign up as a parent. And you can try um, it. You know, set a home account. You can try it free for 14 days, and then um, you know, and that's a good way to do it. Even if you don't have children, that's actually a very easy way to you know quickly try it um, for yourself. As, a, as an educator, you can actually set up your whole classroom to try Dreambox free for 30 days, and of course, that's a great way to see, you know, how your students react to it see how engaged they are. Um, and again, by going to www.dreambox.com, there's a link to um, a subscription tab, and you can jump on there, and there's a, there's a link on that page that says, you know, get an evaluation of Dreambox. Right. I think Christine just asked the same type of question, which is, would you do a school subscription to integrate BrainPop into Google Apps or District or Dreambox as well as Rocket, uh, what home schools, et cetera? And so the workaround for this is uh, if, if you want a, a separate domain, uh, more on an individual level for your classroom, for your home school, then you can uh, achieve those integration points uh, with free Google Apps account. Uh, and it would be kind of outside of the school district, but uh, you would have, it would just be like your personal email, but you're running it through Google Apps. So that's uh, kind of the way that you would manage that. Uh, maybe Sue and Allison, uh, can you can you tell us who uh, kind of grade level or types of students that you mostly target? Uh, so, so you can go to first this time. Um, so today, Dreambox is uh, providing a math learning product for grades K to three, and actually, students from pre-kindergarten, age age four, up to about eight or nine, are using our our product regularly in. Um, a short while later on this year, we'll be announcing the launch of the fourth and fifth grade products. So, you know, very shortly we'll be offering across the elementary grades. And again, it is it is math at this point. Brain Pop is geared towards third grade and up, um, eighth grade. We have another product called Brain Pop Junior. It's brainpopjr.com. And that is geared for kindergarten through third grade. And the third product called BrainPop ESL, designed for uh, ESL students. Thank you. 
Thank you. And uh, Grok, which is the social learning platform, is uh, K-12 with a lot of uh, math and language prep, and they have college entrance exams, so they can be used uh, widely to, to prepare for different types of exams as well. So one of the questions that came in about Google Apps and Google Sites. Uh, just to be clear on that, Google Sites is uh, one feature of Google Apps. So it's one product within Google Apps. So if you subscribe to Google Apps, you get Gmail, you get Google Docs, Google Calendar, Google Sites, Google Video, all of that in one bundle, and they all work really well together. The thing that, that uh, is a lot is, is kind of how you manage your entire classroom in the cloud, your entire learning experience in the cloud. So here at Google, uh, we build out this cloud platform and have Google Apps be kind of the centerpiece for your learning management system, which we talked about earlier today uh, with like how to learn boost and grade. You also want it to be your student tools, such as EasyBib, Digication, et cetera. And we wanted to have your learning platforms as well, uh, such as uh, the three that we talked about today. Uh, and one of the questions that comes in is, is about the integrations between them. And you say they all integrate with Google Apps, and we can be the centerpiece uh, of connection. But through all this, and do, do your applications integrate with any other web applications, Google or otherwise? Um, we have a few different partnerships. Um, we integrate with NetTracker Search. Uh, we've got a partnership with Promethean. Um, so, so yes, we do. Um, we do uh, a few partnerships that have seamless integration. And then, this is Sue. Yeah, this is Sue. In relation to Dreambox, we don't currently integrate with other applications. Um, we certainly have a lot of teachers that are using Dreambox with their learning management systems, like Blackboard and and others, and. Um, and of course, as I mentioned earlier, the reports out of the teacher dashboard can be rolled up and integrated with the, um, you know, the reporting, um, you know, the school or district is using. Great. Well, looks like we finally have Rusty back on. So I uh, started that little technical hiccup, but Rusty will talk about Rocket. Uh, I have told you a little bit of it already, but he'll do a much better job. So Rusty. Yes, it's great to be on. My apologies. I've been I've been on a, a digital island for the last uh, 30 minutes, but thanks, Allison and and Sue, others to kind of keep things uh, moving. So I really appreciate it. Um, so, um, what I wanted to do, guys, was just try to uh, provide context um, of who we are at Crockett, and then obviously explain how it's relevant for Google Apps and how easy it is for you guys to use Google Apps um, in Crockett. The basic obvious thing is, you know, we're educators uh, and experts and technologists, career designers, and business leaders um, from leading digital and education companies. Um, more importantly, who we really are, I think like Allison and Sue and others and kind of proudly kind of put us in the same categories, we're, we're proudly learning technologists and disruptors. So I think we've created something that's truly cutting edge. We think it's the only experience online that creates the level of really merging um, social and collaborative learning with highly adaptive learning with game mechanics to help your students. Um, over a million students that are part of the Graca community in over 100 countries, we can go as large as possible in creating a global community of, of learners together or as small as possible just to help your individual classroom and your individual school. Um, we have over 5 million discussion messages and, and literally over 12 years of studying and six and a half million problems solved just in the last year alone. Uh, speaks to, again, kind of what our students say and our teachers, the addictive quality of Grokit, of re-engaging students. Um, our partnerships are mostly with school districts and virtual schools. We also provide um, Grokit to community colleges and universities and work really closely with teachers and educators. And from a content standpoint, we have um, uh, primarily test prep and SAT, ACT, as well as an entire academy product that we launched around five or six months ago um, that are literally uh, math, reading, writing, remediation, uh, the aids for seventh to thirteenth graders. Um, what we do online is um, first and foremost, um, we really capture how people study. 
at Grocket, you can create your own individual study plan and study on your own, learn your own through very personalized learning online. Um, or customized assessments and diagnostic, diagnostic tools or adaptive learning, um, which we think is, is some of the most cutting edge technology that's truly adaptive, and incredible reporting, which I'll go into to help peers and students see what they're doing. Um, the ability to work um, with peers, so with other students in your classroom online, we really extend the classroom. Um, other people in your, students in your department, um, the ability for students to work together on an environment, and that's through collaborative and social learning, through our game mechanics, which we'll show you about a little bit, and through our ability to really engage students. And finally, we have access to tutors. So we have educational experts that we've spent an enormous amount of time with a deep algorithm that shows an ability to effectively match students with specific tutors. Um, all of this is done through our Grocket textbooks, through video and audio. We really have kind of created literally um, tens of thousands of questions uh, through audio, video, and text uh, that can be worked on um, with students. Our impact, uh, as we talked about before, kind of through personalized learning, we have tens of thousands of sessions on a daily basis in schools across the country, um, hundreds of daily tutoring sessions. Um, engaging in adaptive learning, we have literally two years of studying done in 12 months. And the reason we're able to do that is because literally we have students that are spending to three hours either um, after school an extended classroom engaged in Grocket um, with the help of, of, of your classrooms. We have collaborative learning. So we have literally, as we talked about, million, you know, almost a million community members and over 6.5 million questions answered because we really engage students to work together. And then finally, as some of um, Allison and Sue talked about, we're very proud of, our, of what we've done from a school and efficacy standpoint. Um, we've worked with um, working with numerous foundations right now as well as um, specific schools and virtual schools to do efficacy reports and we see gains of hundreds of points, over 200 points in test prep, but also um, a whole grade level gains. Um, solving key educational challenges, I think the thing that's most uh, uh, relevant is um, we're engaging students. In, in, in making studying fun. We, we probably think that Crockett's one of the coolest, most dynamic and exciting places for students to learn. Um, we have the ability to create really powerful assessments and diagnostic tools that allow teachers and parents and students to see exactly where they are across very individualized um, study plans as well as specific um, subject areas. So we can hone in on everything from algebra to calculus in very specific lesson plans. Um, for you and your students. Um, and maybe this is not. Can you guys see that? Yeah, it's, it's where our images of, of, our, um, of what Grocket looks like when you go on Google Apps. Uh, I can't see it in my presentation, so I'm just trying to see if folks are able to see this at all. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Okay, so if not, um, uh, these are screenshots for the product um, to show the assessment and diagnostic tools that we have, uh, the individual study plans that we have. So I apologize that you guys are, are not, not quite sure why it didn't, didn't come up in the document. Um, I actually see them, so I'll run through them. You can talk about them. First one is get as individualized study plans. I just, um, for individual study plans, we literally have the ability for every student um, to take assessments. Um, we have extraordinary itemized response theory that we have deep algorithms and we have scientists and chief learning officers as part of Grocket that have developed these um, algorithms to create pinpoint study plans for each student so he or she is able to, to follow with a teacher exactly where their progress is moving and then the ability to answer questions um, uh, with the individual study plans um, that literally go from um, numerous phases along the study area for uh, any individual subject in math and reading. Um, in addition, and I'm sorry that you guys can't see it, um, our collaborative study groups, we literally have created what many people call a Facebook for learning. And what's relevant about that is we really have a user interface like a Facebook Facebook experience for students, which is exactly how middle school and high school students and college students interact with social media. So the ability to build study groups um, at any given time 
flock it to your students. So students can literally set up a study group at 3 o'clock in the afternoon or 5 o'clock, whatever is necessary, and they can use Grokit for students to come together and, uh, and either work with tutors or work on their own to solve problems. Study groups can be organized by subject area, by difficulty. Um, all of this is done um, through our Grokit technology. Again, I apologize you guys can't see it, but our gaming experience is like to create kind of some fun tension and challenge games so that students can, can compete with each other for points and Grokit rewards, um, create challenge games as well as getting rewards and points for great contributions that students can give each other. And what we found is, and what's extraordinary, is we actually found that students, um, students that work together, and we, we've proven this, have extraordinary ability, as you guys know, to show games. Um, even in areas where you know multiple C level students working together can suddenly solve problems at B or an A level um, area, and so that's been very po powerful related to using gaming gaming experience to create that level of excitement, fun, and and uh, di dynamic experience. The point, uh, one of the final points is Grokit is social. So um, we're about a community. So we build profiles for every student, and they can have their own profiles. Um, it allows students to have, have an interaction both socially and through learning. Um, and we have a whole area of tutors that allow students access to the educational experts to support you as teachers related to your needs um, and the needs of, of the classroom. Finally, and again, I apologize, guys, that you can't see. I'm not quite sure why it didn't come up in, in the um, presentation. Uh, we have extraordinary and robust reporting. We have uh, deep analytic tools that allow teachers and students and parents to see really by subject area, by um, uh, uh, problem set, by individual questions, exactly what the needs of a student are. And because we have a deep adaptive learning platform, the reports can literally allow a student to go in and out of exactly where they're having problems and answer additional questions to gain um, greater mastery of the project areas. Um, yeah, repeat yourself up. They can they see and everything you're saying, and now they're on the rocket support edge. There's nothing, guys. As I think uh, Sue and Allison talked about, these are just some of the things that our partners are talking about. Rocket, um, you know, it's their secret weapon. Its uh, principals have said it's the best partner they have in using students uh, in using uh, in helping with math. Um, it, it strengthens my own understanding. Is really get a lot of feedback from students about that. Um, other folks talked about that it's one of the coolest, most fun ways to use textbooks because we have the ability to integrate different different content in Rocket. Um, and then again, I'm not quite sure why. It's not coming, guys. I apologize, but um, to sign up is as easy as literally going um, to Google Apps and Rocket, and you have the ability um, rocket.com Google underscore apps. You immediately have the ability to free access through the end of the school year. Uh, the promotion that we're running with Google that we just feel very strongly to provide as much free access for all students to be part of the Grokit community and have access to the content and analytical tools. There's still sign on with Google accounts. There's documents uh, that you, you can use and it, it's all coordinated um, within uh, the, um, uh, the Grokit calendars. So it all can be synced as well. So sorry, guys, it may be a difficult thing seeing some of that stuff, but uh, it's easy enough if you go to grokit.com slash Google underscore apps, and you can see all of it and download it immediately. Thank you. Um, so, so that's the kind of the summary of the ones that we can uh, do the three apps. Uh, Rusty, can you again uh, how long this will be free for? Yeah, exactly. Um, Probably we're providing Grokit free for all schools and classrooms through um, literally the school year, through the end of May. Um, so we're trying to encourage schools to, to work with us at Grokit. So, yeah, it ru runs through through the end of the school year. Great. Well, uh, if there's more questions, uh, I'll wrap up with a couple of things. So uh, we're sending up a follow-up email that includes this webinar as well as the web that was run earlier today. Uh, that webinar was more on learning management systems and 
uh, classroom management and grade books. Uh, this was focused on kind of learning tools for your classroom. So uh, we'll do links to recordings for both of them, as well as links uh, to more detail from uh, all of the apps that we've talked about today, including these three. Uh, we'll give you contact information for the, the applications uh, developers if you uh, want to help uh, get it deployed into your domain. So uh, we really appreciate everyone for stepping on. Thank you for hanging with us through a couple of technical hiccups, but uh, I think it went really well, and I'm excited to, to give these offerings to uh, educators and, and faculty uh, to really improve their classrooms. So with that, uh, we'll end the webinar. Uh, please go to google.com slash apps marketplace slash EU, and you can look at all of these apps and more. So definitely send out a follow-up email. Bye, everyone.